evening. Welcome back to Video Gamers Voices Play Theater. I'm your host, The Meat Geek. We're having a little change of pace from our usual joyous puzzle plus challenge of the Warlords Adventure Fantasy Games. We're going to change our pace for duration of this game. Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. Case number seven. The Cardinal Sins. We're continuing our adventure with Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. He is a detective into the supernatural. So let we have time for an introduction to the game and then we'll take a break to that. Here we go. Hope you have your cup of tea ready. This is gonna be quite a ride. Enjoy yourself. Francisco Gonzalez presents Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator in Case Number Seven The Cardinal Sins. Latin. Rome, Italy. December 24th, 2004. That was a lovely sermon you gave this evening. Thank you. I look forward to this mass, all dear. I was pleased to see so many people in attendance. Yes, it's always good to see such a turnout on Christmas Eve. Well, I must be getting back now. Happy Christmas, Eamon. And to you, Tom. Somebody there. Who's that? Uh oh. Bum, bum, bum. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Another great Christmas dinner, Mother. Yeah, you've outdone yourself again. I'd almost forgotten what home-cooked food tastes like. Well, you know I love cooking for you kids. You kids should stop by the house more often. Your mother never cooks like this for me. So, Benny, I hear you've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Yeah, I just got back from Greece a couple weeks ago. Didn't you go to Japan, too? Yeah, I also spent some time in the UK. I'm pretty jealous. I wish I could go as many places as you. I'm sure you'll be able to once you finish med school, Peter. Which reminds me, when are you going back to school, Ben? What do you mean? I graduated last spring. What, well, yes, but aren't you going to go for your master's degree? I wasn't planning on it. I mean, I've got a pretty good thing going with my paranormal investigating. Paranormal investigating? Yeah, th that's why I've been going to all these places. Didn't Mom tell you guys? I figured it was just a phase you were going through. A phase? So you've been traveling the world looking for ghosts? How do you pay your bills? With money, same as everyone else. But how are you supposed to make money looking for ghosts? Isn't it a big waste of time? I don't know, Jeannie. How are you supposed to make any money with those paintings of yours? Hey, at least I'm still in art school. Come on now, let's stop with the arguments and just enjoy our time together. Yes. Now, Ben, your little vacations are all well and good, and I'm glad you're able to support yourself financially, but I really think you should give some serious thought to going back to school. Your little hobby can wait a few years while you get a real job. Little hobby? Real job? If you guys saw half the stuff I've seen, you wouldn't be calling it a little hobby. I've dealt with ghosts, sasquatches, zombies, witches, you name it. I've stared death in the face more times than I care to remember, and I've made two of the best friends I could ever ask for. So thanks for your concern, Mom, but I think that real job can wait. Benjamin Horatio Jordan, you get back here this instant. Let him go, Helen. I'm sure he'll cool off soon enough. Oh, <laughs> well, at least it's good to see little Benny's finally got himself a backbone. Now, Peter, 
Don't talk about your brother that way. Jeez, could I have asked for a more close-minded family? Hold on a second. What the hell have they done with my room? So we're in the room now. It's one of the first posters you bought when you first became interested in the paranormal. It looks like the tape holding up your poster of the Loch Ness Monster has finally given up out after all these years. There are three large boxes occupying the space where your bed used to be. Looks like your room is the new storage closet. Boot. It's an old boot, the object which sparked your passion for the paranormal. Apparently it was under your bed all this time. Pick it up. When you touch the boot, a flood of memories come racing back to you. You remember what night out in the woods when you were seven years old, camping with your faithful dog, Pecky. Waiting all night for the ghost of the old man to show up, hearing nothing but rustling outside. And then finding this boot the next morning, the only evidence of the ghost you were able to come back with. You smile to yourself, but it fades as you realize you've got dirt all over your hands now. Maybe you should think about washing that old thing. Save progress. Ninja bedroom. Ben's bedroom. <clears throat> Boxes. in the boxes you don't feel like looking up through the boxes they're probably just full of old sweaters and your mother's knickknacks anyway fallen poster you're not really in the mood to fix the poster just yet you probably just fall back right again believe the poster's fine where it is there's no need to move it <coughs> phone let's look at the uh, Danny dinosaur trademark it's your old pal, Danny Dinosaur. He got you through many a scary night when you were a kid. He's still high on the shelf for you to reach. Books. You don't have time to read them now. Besides, you've read them all over three times. You're in no mood to play board games right now. All right. You take a closer look at the photo on the shelf. There's a wound on his neck. Seems to be uh, some sort of wound on Grandpa before. Arthur's neck. I guess when you're an adventurer, you pick up a few injuries that's strange. Way. Okay, that's that's progress right there. Telephone. Uh, hello. Hello. Is this Ben Jordan? Here we go. Yes. Who's this? He was right. Like the Virgin, he was right. Like the Virgin. I'm sorry, what? I apologize. I did not have long to talk. My name is Alessandro Renzi, and I need your help. Okay, how can I help you? I am in jail, accused of murdering a priest. However, the situation is a bit special. Special how? I cannot say over the phone. Will you help me? I, I guess. Where are you? I am in Rome, at the main state police station. Wow. H hold on. The Vatican. Rome, as in Rome, Italy? Yes, Mr. Jordan. I'm sorry to call you like this, but it really is important. Well, it is kind of short notice, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Signore. I hope to see you soon. You left somewhat dazed by Renzi's call. It's certainly one of the more mysterious calls for help for you've received. I'd better get some advice about this. 
Ignoring the potentially mon monumental long distance charges, you di do dial Simon's number. Hello? Simon, hey, it's Ben. Ben, good to hear from you, mate. Hi, I'm on the phone here. Uh, is everything alright? Simon. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Just got the stuff now. Anyway, what's going on? Well, I just got this really odd phone call. You explain Renzi's I'm situation sure. to Simon. I wouldn't say no to a trip to Rome, you know. Even if this guy turns out to be some nutter, at least we get a nice trip out of it, right? Yeah, you have a point there. Have you called your uh, better half? Not yet, no. I haven't had much of a chance to talk to her since we left Greece. Well then, this would be a perfect chance for you two to reconnect. I'd give her a call if I were you. Yeah, good idea. Right then, let's get a move on. I'll take care of the hotel arrangements. You get over to Rome, and I'll see you in a couple of days. All right, see you soon. You dial Alice's number. Hello? Alice, it's Ben. Ben, how are you? I'm doing okay. Sorry, it's been a while since we last spoke. Oh, it's okay, Ben. There's been a lot going on with the holidays and everything. Yeah. Yeah, there has. So what's new? Well, actually, that's kind of what I'm calling about. I just got this really weird phone call. You recount the details of your conversation with Benzi. Hmm, that is kind of strange. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I was hoping maybe you could give me some advice. Well, Rome is pretty far away. I'd love to be able to come along, but I'm sort of busy with stuff here right now. I don't know how long it will be before I can show up. Have you talked with Simon about this yet? Yeah, he's already making the travel arrangements. He sure doesn't waste any time, does he? No, that he doesn't. Well, like I said, I'll do my best to come to Rome and join you. Oh, that reminds me. I found out some stuff about my family you might find interesting. I can't wait to tell you about it. Okay, then I guess I'll see you soon. Hopefully. Bye, Ben. Thanks for calling. Um... I guess it's time to show them this is more than just a little hobby. Another adventure. Day 1. December 27th, 2004. Ah, uh, Ben, you found the hotel, I see. Yeah, this place certainly has an interesting decor. Mm, it's awful, isn't it? But L'Albergo Dante was the best place I could find on such short notice. Hey, I'm not complaining. I hope you don't mind me hanging about in your room. Figured it'd be easier for you to find me here. It's not a problem. So, you're gonna find this Renzi guy? Yeah, I think that's the best place to start. Right, you know where to find me if you need anything. Thanks a lot, Simon. Let's save our progress. Save this as room hotel. We'll take a break. Four out of one hundred six. Here is like to thank you for, uh, for joining us for a brief introduction of our new walkthrough we're going to be playing. Ben Jordan, case number seven: the cardinal sins. Uh, we're we're in, in, in embarking on a new paranormal adventure, and uh, check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Till next time.